Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about EVNG lab in GCP, right? So in my first video, I have showed how to set up the lab, right? And if you are not able to find that video, you can just click on the I button, which will reflect over here. You can just click over that and you can go to that video. In this video, what I'm going to cover is EVNG labs should get internet right because to test some url filtering lab for palo alto we need internet to do a test right so in very simple steps that i'm going to explain you that how we can enable the internet on gcp cloud for our evng lab if you are a fresher or if you want to come into networking field or if you are a working professional in networking, I'll highly recommend you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a bit of from me. So without any further delay, let's get started. So friends, first of all, you have to log into the Google account and you have to go to the console first. Now you have to click on the compute engine and it will redirect you to the VM instance. In this VM instance, as you can see, there are two IPs. One is internal IP, one is external IP. So with the help of external IPs, you are able to access the EVNG lab. Okay, so what exactly happening is, whenever you are accessing this external IP, it is getting natted to the internal IP, right? So the outside natting, so outbound natting is like the inbound natting is happening, but not the outbound natting. So you have to enable the outbound natting. Now in this scenario, I'll show you that how we can enable the inbound natting, right? So what you have to do is first of all, you have to go and SSH the VM machine. Okay. So once you log into the VM machine, uh, step by step, I'll show you how to do that. Okay. So friends, once you logged into the VM console, what you have to do is you have to change your permission. So you have to become a root user. So what you have to type is sudo hyphen I. So after that, you will become a root user right now. Okay. Now, the first thing that we are going to do is we have to install a application which is known as nano so sudo app install okay install nano right so as i have already installed so nano is already there for me so that is the reason it is saying it is already installed so for you guys it will not be installed so you have to make nano install in your vm machine first the first step is so friends uh, before i move on i just wanted to explain few things about this vm so i just wanted to tell you what are the interface that are available right now so we can see there are pnet interface which is nothing but it's an uh, interface for the VM the logical interface for the VM okay so as we can see we have nine uh, logical interface and when we go to the cloud network we can also see the cloud one to nine clouds okay so there are nine logical interfaces that are available we don't need to focus on this management as well as on the bridge because we are not sure how the network connectivity inside the gcp so we don't need to consider this okay so what we have to do is as you will be seeing on pnet 0 you will be having the internal ip so if somebody is accessing it it is getting natted and it is uh, dropping the packet on pnet 0 so how the connectivity is like I just wanted to explain few things. So if somebody is sitting over here, if they are accessing on the public IP address, okay, and that public IP address is hitting 
p net zero okay and then it is going to eve ng lab right eve ng lab now what we can do is we can take the traffic and we can add the traffic to p net zero and then we can move this traffic to public internet okay so what we have to do is we have to route the traffic to a logical interface okay maybe it can be a pnet 3 4 5 2 something like that whatever pnet uh, whatever we choose and then we can nad the traffic to pnet 0 and the public ip address so this is what i wanted to achieve in this video so now i am taking pnet 9 as an example for my lab or you can choose any other but it's better to take the last one okay so i'm just taking this one so first of all what we have to do is we have to configure the ip address right ip address add and you have to choose an ip address so that ip should not conflict you with your internal ip range okay so it can be anything apart from your internal range so let's say if you have another vm it should not conflict with that ip address as well so i'm just taking as this one as by seeing this you will be thinking it's a public ip address but we are natting to another ip address so doesn't matter okay so we are assigning to pnet 9 right so we can see that it is already already been assigned over here so that is the reason it is not taking for you it will uh, uh, it will accept that ip address okay now the second thing that we have to do is we have to forward the ip traffic so whatever traffic that is coming to pnet 9 it has to be forwarded to pnet 0 so what we have to do is we have to put this command system network okay system network ipv4 and ip forward right so we are forwarding this ip address so how we are going to forward and what we have to do after forwarding this traffic so ip tables hyphen t and you have to add that okay a post routing okay so you have to write as capital letter hyphen zero sorry o where we have to do nat okay so we have to nat it to pnet zero static and we have to specify the ip address so what we what would be our range 198 18 18.0 18 slash 24 hyphen j mass okay so we are just telling them to do after the uh, routing you just do a nat for this range so the next command is to save the nat table and whenever we reboot the vm machine it should work without any uh, any other commands so uh, for me sometimes it doesn't work and sometimes it works so uh, you guys can try that as well so what you have to do is ip table save okay then what we have to do is we have to save the table okay etc ip table table config this is to save the nat uh, now the work of nano application starts over here so uh, nano is an editor so we can edit uh, a few of the things uh, with the help of nano 
command so we'll just go to this one why we are doing this because we have to save the nat table so that process is running right now so now you have to put this command uh, this command is to restore the nat table again but as we don't have like sometimes it doesn't work so it's fine you have to go and click Control x to uh, come back to the uh, screen and there is last command that you have to execute that is nano etc and go to the network and the uh, network and the interfaces okay so once you go over here you have to go to the last as the interface 9 we have okay so you, we have to go here and we have to put the IP address over here okay and you don't need to do anything so whatever IP address you want to configure or what we have configured in the first place same IP address you need to configure over here 198.18.18.1 okay and it get bridge to that interface okay so you don't need to worry about it and just let, let's say what you have to do is uh, once you do control X so control X is to exit so do control X and then you have to click Y to save this configuration and then again do this okay so control C I guess so control X and yes now we you have to click enter and you are done so the configuration has been done now we'll go to the topology and we'll turn on the devices first uh, while the de device reboots guys I just wanted to tell you one thing like let's suppose if you are not saving the save NAT is not working in case you have to put these two commands okay so once you reboot the VM devices like the VM instance in that case you have to uh, just go on SSH and run these two commands then the internet will start working okay and uh, all those steps I'll be putting in the description so if you want to check out the commands you can just go through the uh, uh, description box you'll find all the commands so friends what we are doing over here is uh, we are just uh, doing a NAT over here uh, for the internal IP address and uh, we have a range of 10.1.1.0 slash 24 okay and we will we'll see what IP address we are going to configure on the outside interface okay so it's very simple topology and we have already done with the IP schema and all so we'll go to the device and we'll go to the network first let me remove this one so we have configured the same range what we have configured for pnet now uh, when you choose the cloud so you have to go to the network okay and you have to choose cloud 9 over here so once you choose the cloud 9 as we have configured the cloud 9 IP address is as 198 so this will be our gateway and in that range we will be having the IP address so that is the reason we are uh, our IP address is 192.18.18.10 right here if I just go over here I can show that okay and we'll have a route virtual route I can just show you the forwarding route 0, 0.0 which is pointing to 198.918.18.1 okay and we have policy in place already and yeah net policy as well as a security policy now uh, we'll just try and check that whether our internet is working over here okay so I'll just cancel this off and try to access the google.com as we have already allowed in the rules so it should work and don't forget to configure the DNS IP address otherwise it will not work so you can just choose any public IP any public DNS uh, the way I have configured so DNS is 8.8.8 .8 okay now yeah we will restore and we'll see uh, our gmail the internet is working uh, the main thing like 
so if we want to access youtube.com something like this youtube as this is vm machine so it will be too uh, little slower not the internet is slow for inside the machine is slow but yeah it should work as we can see yeah youtube is also working and i can show you that it is going through our so yeah uh, i'll just go here and try to access this machine our management machine and i can show you in the monitor logs that yeah it is going through our palo alto okay so as you can see youtube firefox update and all those things yeah web browsing google base so this this is what uh, it shows that it is going through this palo alto device and uh, this is how we can do lot more laps for palo alto url filtering app control and all those things we can do in gcp as well this is what i wanted to cover in this video guys uh, if you uh, find it helpful please give it a like or give me a comment uh, if you have suggestion regarding my video or uh, uh, which i can improve in in my future video you can do so in the comment box as well as you can uh, also send me an email uh, and also i'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon please uh, which actually in, in motivates me to create more intense or uh, in-depth videos for you guys because as uh, youtube is not working properly like the notification is not working properly so i'll request you to unsubscribe and subscribe again and click all on the all button so that you'll get all the notification as well as uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, signing off uh, see you in the next video thanks